From Gent 24, here's meteorologist Craig Flynn, your weather authority. Bob Steakhouse Weather Camera live at the Erie International Airport on a Saturday night. More heat and humidity in store as we go into the second half of the weekend on Sunday. So, sunset tonight was 8 o'clock. That's the last time that's going to happen for 2021, anyway. The next 8 o'clock sunset for us locally will be April 14th of 2022. So, you have to wait 228 more days. I hope you're able to enjoy it. All right, let's uh, take a look at the forecast then for tomorrow. Uh, Lake Erie, uh, water temperature 79, waves becoming onshore 5 to 15. Uh, and a low rip current risk for the beaches of uh, Erie County and Presque Isle. Low 70s, McCain to uh, Edinburgh and Fairview at 71. It's 75 at last check into uh, Penn State Barron, Northeast 77, 72 in Greenfield. Numbers should make your way towards French Creek, 70, 69 at last check in Cory. South into Crawford County tonight, low 70s, Franklin. Uh, the mid 70s in Meadville and uh, off to the east numbers in the upper 60s some thick fog forming right now Chandler's Valley because we had uh, some downpours out this way earlier 71 Youngsville 70 in Scandia future cast so through the rest of the overnight yeah there might be one more shower or isolated thunder shower coming through while you're sleeping then we go into the day on Sunday and here's how we rock and roll so we'll watch these scattered thunder showers pop up here again through the course of the day then a cold front's going to come through uh, on Monday, I think showers and thunderstorms become a bit more organized as we go into late tomorrow night and then into Monday. Once the cold front goes by, we will notice a change and probably a welcome change for many. High pressure rolling in over the Great Lakes, that north, northeasterly wind of dry, cool, fresh Canadian air. This that you see down here, the remnants of Ida. By the time Ida impacts us, not that it will, I mean, it will just kind of have some fringe effects from it, it will be a shell of what it is now and what it will be, undergoing rapid intensification in the Gulf. This is going to be a devastating storm for the Gulf Coast. We expect a storm surge of 10 to 15 feet, over 20 inches of rain, winds over 100 miles an hour, and again, making landfall later Sunday, that would be the 16th anniversary to the date of Katrina. Uh, let's see, we got hurricane warnings, tropical storm watches and warnings across much of the Gulf. 105 mile per hour storm with the central pressure right now of 964. Uh, so the lower that number, the stronger the storm. You can see the eye becoming very well defined. Those deep reds around the center of the eye, the convection, those thunderstorms firing up around it. So still on track and on course to become actually some new information uh, coming in as a strong cat three or week four, but then it weakens. But this is still not good for New Orleans. And then we see it recurve and head uh, at our direction. But again, by the time it gets here, it's going to be much, much weaker. Here's your seven day forecast. Highs will be well into the 80s for us Sunday. Not quite as warm, but still muggy on Monday and a better chance of scattered storms. Uh, and it now looks like there's a chance of showers Tuesday as well. But you'll notice the humidity drop on Tuesday. Temperatures will be in the 70s. Uh, the remnants of Ida to the south. Probably some filtered sun, high cloudiness on Wednesday. Uh, but much, much better, much more comfortable by Thursday. And heading into the Labor Day weekend. Forecast updated your area.com. Click on weather. Like I said, a lot of people are going to definitely like this weather here. Yeah, especially a nice break from the humidity coming up uh, once we get into late this week. But not so nice down on the Gulf. Absolutely. We are lucky. Craig, thank you very much. Coming up on Jet 24 Action News at 11 o'clock.